Say commit. Commit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Saint John nineteen and thirty. There is a part in here that when Jesus said it is finished. Uh-huh. Say it is finished. It is finished. Uh, 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 it, it, it is finished. Okay. The Bible said, when Jesus therefore have received what? He said, it is what? Bitterness. And he what? And gave up the ghost. I'm going to share something with you with this verse. It is finished. It's saying that Jesus died at the age of 33. Thank you, sir. And the Son of God talked to Abba Father and said, it is finished. I want y'all to hear this clearly. Everything that God asked him to do, he did it. Y'all playing around with this. Y'all gifts, uh, uh, what you should be doing. Uh, y'all playing around with this, but you, you, you're going to be judged on that. He said, it is finished. Listen to this. Having fulfilled every command of the Father and every prophecy of the Scripture. He finished every prophecy from the Old Testament, even in the New Testament, and every Scripture. This messed me up. He voluntarily died. And then, so this was a cry not of exhaust, uh, not being exhausted, but of completion. And so when Jesus said it is finished, I, I, I'm finished with everything that you have asked me to do. That's good, sir. I am finished. And, and so he, Jesus was committed to this thing. Uh, Jesus was committed to this thing. And so he, he said, Father, it is finished. Uh, uh, he said, I'm, I've done everything that you want me to do. I want y'all to listen to this uh, because you're going to be judged on what God asked you to do, what God called you to do. Let's go to John 18 and 9. We're going to have a New Year party. Don't worry. But before we have, uh, I want you to be committed. So when you shout, you shout with a commitment. So when you say hallelujah, it's not a quit in there. We, because we shout and, and, and have a good time, but we ain't committed. Ah. I want this word to stick with us to, uh, this morning. Can, can the word stick with you? Amen. Amen. Listen to this. Uh, that, that the sand might uh, be fulfilled, which he what? Spake of them, which thou gavest me, I have lost what? None. Come on, that's a perfect record. That's a, 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 a Mayweather type of record, if we had to use an, exa- uh, an example. He's undefeated, ain't he? Yeah. Is it 50 and 0 or 51 and 0? Something like that. But he, he said he was undefeated. He said, he said, everyone that you have given me, none of them are lost. The disciples are not lost. Uh, the people are not lost. I have fulfilled everything because I was committed to it. And so if we don't have no commitment to it, that's why we go from one woman or from one man to another man, or from one woman to another woman, because we ain't committed. Am I right, church? And it's time for us to be committed like never before. Say it's time to be committed like never before. Let's go to John 17 and 12. John chapter 17 verse 12 he said this while I was with them in the what keep reading and those that what and none of them are what but the son of a perdition that what perdition is eternal damnation utter destruction is demonic Write down 1 Thessalonians uh, uh, 2 and 3. It would give you more information about uh, the son of perdition. It's a demonic force will try to stop you from being committed. And so uh, uh, when you feel like you can't sleep, that's only the trick of the enemy. Uh, Insomnia is a spirit. Uh, 
People that is uneasy at night, that's nothing but a spirit because the enemy know that I have a better shot of defeating you when you are tired. And so that's why he y'all can't sleep uh, because he want to make you be tired. Uh, when you're tired, you can't give your best. Uh, God is saying, going into 2018, I need you to give your best. Uh, I need you to I need you to commit like never before. I'm talking about not only spiritual, but I'm talking about in your homes. Uh, I'm talking about in your community. I'm talking about uh, uh, feeding the homeless. Uh, not just when we have it, but just saying, hey, uh, I want to get involved with my community. I want to help somebody. Uh, is there anybody committed to uh, helping the lost? Uh, Jesus said, I come to seek and to save that which was what? Lost, huh? And so God is saying, you got to continue to do this. Huh? It's a work in progress that I'm committed. Say, I'm committed. I'm committed. Give God a hand, praise. Amen. God is saying that when you are committed, you got to continue to keep the faith. Ah. And, and there's, there's, what we, there, there's sometimes, and is that, is that when I'm committed to something, my faith, uh, he said, your faith uh, won't fail you. Uh, your faith is going to help you get through it. Uh, it's your faith that the enemy, because if he take away your faith, uh, you can't be committed to it. Uh, and so he's coming after your faith. Uh, oh, come on, y'all. The Bible said in uh, Hebrews 11, 6, uh, without faith is impossible to please God. And so the enemy, once you don't, don't want to have no faith, if you don't have no faith, you can't be committed. It, it, it won't stick. Say it won't stick. And so God is saying you got to allow it to stick. Uh, God is saying there's something that got to take place in your life for you to be committed to it. Uh, and don't quit in the process. Say, I'm not going to give up. Uh, I'm not going to give up on my children. I'm not going to give up on my marriage. Uh, I'm not going to give up on my finances. Uh, but I'm going to continue to do what God have called me to do. Uh, as we talk about uh, the new year, uh, it's a new opportunity. Uh, with new opportunity, I give you new grace. Uh, I give you new mercy. Uh, and with new opportunity, I give you new ideas. Uh, God is saying, I have not seen nor ear have heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man. The things that I have prepared for you, but I need you to commit to this. Uh, I need you not to give up. Uh, I don't need you to be tossed a double-minded. Uh, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Uh, somebody need to talk to me. Uh, say, I'm going to commit to this. Uh, I'm not going to give up. Uh, I'm going to press towards that mark for the prize of the high calling of God which is in Christ Jesus uh, though he slay me Job said yet would I trust him all the days of my appointed time that I'm going to keep my trust in the Lord uh, I'm committed to build the church uh, I'm committed to build my family uh, I'm committed to build the community I'm committed to build my finances I'm committed and I won't quit uh, come on church uh, don't quit in this season uh, it's not how you start it's how you finish uh, can you just press through a little uh, can you not give up uh, that you're about to go into 2018. The enemy wants you to be uh, weary. Uh, the enemy wants you to stop. Uh, but I cannot stop in the process. Uh, the Bible said, greater is he uh, that is in me than he that is in this world. Uh, I can do what? All things uh, through Christ which strengthens me. Uh, because I can't quit. Uh, Christ didn't quit on me. Uh, God didn't give up on me. Who knew no sin became sin. Uh, come on, y'all. Uh, what kind of love is this uh, that a man will lay down his his life uh, for his friend uh, oh my God uh, who knew no sin became sin rose up on the third day with all power in his hands I'm talking about Jesus Jesus didn't give up so why should we give up say neighbor don't give up say 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 don't give up don't give up I don't care how rough it get uh, I don't care how tough it get uh, I'm committed uh, say stay committed Amen, amen. I, I, I want to say something to you. Uh, dealing with, uh, as we go into 2018, give me about seven minutes. And I'm going to be teaching on uh, commit, being committed and don't quit throughout the month of January. Uh, because there's so much meat on the bone. But I want us to understand when we're talking about the, uh, the Jubilee. The Jubilee, you hear that, is, is, is uh, when everyone is set free from debt, distress discontent, doubt, sickness. When you read Leviticus chapter 25, it talk about how they all came into theirs. But before they came into theirs, there was a famine in the land. It was a drought 
for seasons. And so, but they stay committed to saying, God, I know that you're going to bring me through. Some of us been suffering uh, in 2017. Some of us been weary and frustrated. I want to say something with Jubilee. Everyone, check this out. When you read Leviticus chapter 25, verses 1 through 13, when everyone was in the synagogue, knew the acceptable year of the Lord, it was great. Jubilee is the 50th year. It's the 50th year. But now, check this out. That's Old Testament now. I'm bringing us to the New Testament. Uh, uh, that year, everyone went free. Say, everyone went free uh -huh. don't can you imagine your brothers and sisters being free uh-huh because I, I